storm swept through today, flooding roads, toppling trees, and even shutting down a shopping mall. Been in some storms before, but nothing this uh, strange. Tonight, where the storms are now, and the big weather change for the week. And the storms came through, bringing along some much cooler temperatures today. Now, it was much needed rain, but it came down pretty hard at times, and combined that with strong winds, and well, as you can see from these photos, stuff went flying. Yeah, big stuff, too. Yeah. We'll get to our chief meteorologist, Doug Hill, in just a minute here, but first, Richard Reeve is live in Winchester tonight with a look at some of the Virginia storm damage for us. Rich? Oh, here we go. We're good. Man, I gotta tell you, it was monsooning here today, but for a lot of folks, the wind was the big issue. Check it out, trees like this falling everywhere. And here's something interesting to note, debris like this scattered all around us. This stuff blew in from a block away. The roar of chainsaws snapped trees and debris everywhere. Wind came in behind it and the noise that sounded like a locomotive train. James Painter was just getting into his SUV around 8.20 this morning when the storm hit. And all at once it just got black and it rained so hard here you couldn't see nothing. It scared me so bad so I just backed my vehicle back up real fast, jumped out and ran into the house to the basement. The high winds and rain flooded creeks, ripped down power lines, and tore apart fences like matchwood. It was stuck right in there. You can see where the piece of wood still is. <laughs> this car window got blown out by a piece of flying wood, almost like shrapnel. And the wind started picking up. It blew the back office door open because it wasn't latched all the way. Even the rooftop AC units at Apple Blossom Mall weren't immune to the storm's fury. Two of them were damaged by the wind causing a natural gas leak, forcing them all to be evacuated for several hours. I listen to big noise across the pier as I think my neighbor. Marcel Jimenez considers himself lucky. This is the front of his house, but no one was hurt. Were you scared at all? No, I'm not scared. Yeah, because I'm not, when I see it, everything's gone. Everything was gone. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on I-81 South, powerful wind gusts pushed this tractor trailer sideways. It flipped when the driver overcorrected. Been in some storms before, but nothing this uh, strange, to say the least. And take a look at this. The tops of trees sheared off. Now, the thing about this storm was that the damage was so random. A lot of destruction in this immediate area, a mile away, virtually nothing. And now, that big cleanup. Live in Winchester, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. And Rich